Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to try out some Coley Resin, Resin, Epoxy, I don't know what it's called. I'll just mess around, see what happens, and just keep very close to the instructions that are in here. So first things first, let's look at what's in this box. Silicon molds for jewelry. These, which are for these which is the, the stuff that we're supposed to mix. These mixing things, but like, what is this? It's all scrambled. What am I supposed to do with this? Can I still use this? Ugh, I'm only making it worse, oh my god. Well, it's probably fine. Some sticks for mixing. <laughs> and the instructions. And I didn't have like gloves, so I just, I just got bags because I don't want to get this stuff in my hands. <laughs> it doesn't sound very healthy. I have glitter, potentially, and I also had something else, but I don't know where I left it. Oh yeah, here. So basically, I know I can use paint as well, but I'm still not sure if I can use acrylic paints. So I just have this, which is basically just torn apart wool. But I think that will look really cool in like resin. Let's see what happens. Who cares? Okay, and I also have some paints. Hold on. Okay, so it has to dry for like 24 to 80, uh, 48 hours. There is about a billion warnings on here. Uh, let's see, one of them is like really dangerous and the other is like somewhat dangerous. It's epoxy resin. Okay, one says warning and the other says danger. <laughs> One with warning is like mildly dangerous and one with danger is like really dangerous. So hold on, I think it's one on two. Yeah. But looking at these, they seem to have like a droplet thing. So I can like drop it in. I hope that's it. I don't know. So I guess we're going to be making a couple then. One with the wool, see how that goes. One with some glitter, I don't know what glitter yet, probably this one. And a little bit with paint. I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. For God's sake, come on! Why do I even need to use these? Uh, hold on, I should probably get a hair tie or something. I got one. Oh, there we go. Okay. Apparently this stuff can like burn your your hands, so I'm a little bit scared. I don't, I don't think this is necessary right now. Well, you know what? Maybe it is. <laughs> I'll just do one. My good hand. Is everything ready? Let's start. So let's start with like 20 drops of this. One. I don't know how to do this. I guess we're just gonna have to test it out. Is that maybe the drop or two? I should probably close this up. Oof, this is gonna be weird. This is definitely a dropper. This is somewhat, I think. I'm just messing around at this point. I am so messing this up. Oh, it's so little. <laughs> I don't think I can make anything with this. I'll just go for the smallest one. I have like the tiniest amount. I mean, I guess it's not too bad. For how long should I be mixing this? Okay, whatever. Smallest one. This will only take four hours to slowly drip in there, probably. Oh, you know what? It's not so bad, actually. Okay, now I smell it. Oof, good morning. Okay, I guess that's good then. Great. I mean, I'd say it looks good. Even though there's like 14 billion bubbles in there. Should we put something in there? I'll just go with some glitter. Yay, oof, goodness. I did way too much. Whoopsie. Well, that's stupid. Oh, maybe it's not so bad. I'll just mix this all good together. It's all definitely sinking to the bottom. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. 
Is it all sinking? Oh yeah, that's definitely all sinking to the bottom. I know if I can show this without like making it drip all over. I'll show it later once it's oh once it's done. I guess now I should be doing just a little bit more maybe. Okay, this one is all sticky. Ew. So I guess I'll just do like um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know either to be honest. Try to keep it at the side or something maybe. There we go. I'm just I'm just eyeing at this and I don't know. Yeah, this is definitely not helping. I'll just I'll just hope for the best. And again, it's all practice. You have to make mistakes to become better at something. I'm pretty sure, though, that it's incredibly precise, and you should definitely not be eyeballing this. I think I've mixed enough so far. Okay, let's uh, let's do the tiny heart one. How about that? Good. Okay. Uh, let's do a little circle. I think we can even do one more. Dang. And I can even do one. Oh my goodness, I did so much. Okay, I wanted to do a little bit of paint, so why the frick not? Let's do it nice and swirly, you know? Oh goodness, I completely forgot. I'm not really too happy about this. I, was, I wanted to make like a nice swirly thing, but I guess that doesn't work. So one is like mixed gritty blue. One has like some blue dots. I think that one would be really cool. If it works out, of course, you never know. <laughs> and one has glitter. And then this one. Let's do the heart. How about that? I think it will look really cool with like like a smoky effect, you know? Fair enough. We, uh, we have gotten some uh, recipes for the disaster. <laughs> It's getting progressively more dark. Hold on. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, fingers crossed. I'm gonna let these dry. 12 to 48 hours. 24 to 48. But it depends on temperature and the thickness. I guess we're gonna see. Let me just show you a quick close-up from what this is. So this is the one with the glitter. Um, it all went to the bottom. I don't think I don't think that's that bad. These two are one with paint. This one is like all these tiny. I tried to mix it, but that didn't work out so well. The one under there, I didn't mix on purpose. It's like maybe that could be kind of cool if that works out. These two have wool in them. Hopefully to cause like a smoky effect. I'm just gonna Google what a good temperature is and leave it to dry for uh, at least one day, I guess. So till then. So it's mind blowing. I I don't know if you can hear that, but it has been like I guess like two hours maybe, and it's already starting to harden a little bit. But it's only an outside layer layer I think because if I like try would try to get it out, it stretches. No wait, it doesn't. Oh my god, it comes loose. It's drying a lot faster than I thought it would. Oh, I guess tomorrow we'll, we'll be ready. I'm curious. I'll see you all then. Bye-bye. So it has been well over a week right now. This is the first batch. These are the second batch. Now this one looks pretty good. There's one pretty big bubble there that uh, I should have cut out. And here's the same issue. <laughs> Um, this one just looks like a mess. It's, it's this, yeah, this one just definitely didn't work out. Uh, the first patch actually went the best. It's, it's like rock solid. There is little to no air bubbles in there. These two are a little bit flexible. I don't know if you can see that. But then there's these two. But these are incredibly flexible. The same goes for this one. Now, my suspicion is that 
because I mix it really well. I mix it so well, there were like air bubbles all over the place. But my suspicion is it's because of the acrylic paint. Later I found out, you aren't supposed to put acrylic paint in here, in epoxy resin. You're supposed to use like pastels or something like that. So no wonder this didn't turn out well. So this one was supposed to be mixed. Well, as you can clearly see, it's not mixed at all. It's just, it, it broke apart and sank to the bottom. And it's incredibly flexible. This one, I just wanted to do some squirrels or swirls of like paint. What instead happened, the paint sank to the bottom and like, it's legit what it looks like. Hold on. It's just, there's, there is a hole in here from the paint. Because, I don't know, I guess I should have mixed it properly if I wanted to do that. Still, it just didn't work. And we're having the same issue here. It's that it's very flexible. However, it's not that flexible like on the outside. It's especially around this part. So if I'm going to do this again, <laughs> I'm going to use uh, pastels, gel pastels, to color it. This one turned out okay, I guess. It gives it like a little bit of a marble look, but I could do that with pastel. This one, on the other hand, nah, this one just looks gross. <laughs> this one, I, I don't like this one either. This one, even though it's like completely filled, it still looks pretty cool. Maybe if I would like add some silver in there or something, it would be kind of cool. I don't know. Anyways, sorry for this messy video, <laughs> but that's the update. I wish I could bring something better to the table, but uh, to be honest, I'm pretty impressed in the fact that they already tried so fast. And this one doesn't have a hole in it, which kind of sucks. I'll definitely be testing more of this, because it's really, really cool. Anyways, that's about it. Hopefully next time I'll do better.